Welcome to my lecture on the thematic project for our class this semester. Hopefully you've already seen my introduction to the class where I explain that one of the things that I'm super interested in in history and in doing with this class is looking at how various historical ideas have been passed down to us and are expressed in, in contemporary culture. So this class only goes through the Renaissance, but um, I think history has so much more meaning when we think about how it impacts us today. So given the grand scope of this class, global culture for thousands and thousands of years, I've decided to organize the main project around tracking themes throughout those cultures and eras. And, and you get to pick the theme. <clears throat> So we're going to look at some of the materials that you'll be using to put together this project over the course of the semester. So this is the landing page for us, the announcement page of our class. Over here on the left is the thematic project. And this area has everything that you'll need to do this assignment this semester. This is where you'll submit things. And this is where you're going to find the assignment sheet. You're going to find the calendar you're going to find some examples on how to do the kind of analysis that we'll be working on this semester. You'll be doing presentations in discussion board. You will also be writing two short papers called artifact analyses. And eventually you're going to get to a final analysis paper or PowerPoint that ties it all together. So I think what I want to do is start here really quickly looking at the end product. Maybe it's because I'm more of a visual or global thinker, but I like to see where we're headed. So I put together this example for you guys. Feel free to come back and look at it in more detail later. But what we're looking at in this sample is tracking the theme of power right? It's an idea and tracking it back through culture and particularly how it applies to uh, goddess imagery throughout culture and how that ends up being exemplified in Beyonce's 2017 grammar, Grammy Awards performance. So in this sample, I'm referring to uh, some pieces, one of them being a short paper called, called an artifact analysis, artifact number one, where I look at the Venus of Willendorf and another artifact paper that I write on Primavera by Botticelli, as well as a presentation that I do, you know, as a hypothetical student on uh, the goddess Durga. So what this PowerPoint does is it walks through how, how those ideas can be traced through, for instance, um, African, Hindu, Greek, Roman goddesses to include St. Mary as part of the Christian tradition. Um, so anyway, so feel free to come back to this and check it out and see the ways that I'm kind of weaving those, those ideas together, ultimately to explain a lot of the visual and lyrics that, that Beyonce has put together in this presentation, because it didn't just come from nowhere. She's very, very carefully drawing connections back to, to various uh, historical embodiments of female power. So if that, if that seemed like too much, I apologize. But for me, uh, it's a great place to start to look at where we're going to end up. The good news is, is that we break this up into a variety of different short assignments. So this is the assignment sheet. And what you have in here are the basic due dates. So you can see what we're doing over the course of the semester. And the assignment sheet has a lot of definitions for you. Uh, one of the first things that we need to wrap our head around are themes. So as we're looking at cultures and what they produced, right, in text, in terms of text, in terms of art, in terms of philosophy, in, you know, in terms of political movements, that within those are various themes that can be, you know, can be tracked across culture. So 
The theme might be how the individual fits within culture. A theme might be spiritual beliefs. A theme might be the life cycle, uh, the body, gender and identity, class and work, love and sex. So these are big ideas that are expressed throughout cultures in different ways. Human rights, the idea of medicine actually, or health, the heroic ideal, power. So these are some ideas that uh, that I'm giving to you, but you're welcome to come up with uh, anything on your own too. Two other really important vocabulary ideas are these. So when we're looking at the humanities, we'll be looking at various genres, which, and those are just basically categories of different kinds of human productions, right? Humans produce literature, we produce visual art, architecture music, dance, theater, history, law and politics, innovation, religion, philosophy. So these are types of artifacts. In the right column, you can see the different types of artifacts that you may find within those. Right? So within visual art, you might be looking at a painting or a sculpture or a mosaic, a school of art or a new medium. So, um, what we're going to do to start out is we're going to practice doing this kind of analysis where we look at a theme, which is something that a culture values, right? A belief the people held. Often you can think of these as ideas, uh, ideals rather. So for artifact analysis, number one, it's a short paper where you will explore one or two artifacts from a chapter in the first half of our textbook. Right, from chapters one through nine. We're going to do a second short paper where you'll choose one or two artifacts from a chapter in the second half of the text later in history from chapter nine through the end. So your main goal of these artifact explanations is to examine the details of your artifact and prove how it represents the theme that you've chosen. So you're doing a little investigation. I recommend starting with information in our text. You can use a combination of ideas from experts and your own observations, but make sure you research the item carefully. Really make sure that you understand who made it, what um, you know, why it was important, what it meant to the culture. So that's probably the number one thing. So these are little research papers. You're welcome to use supplemental uh, material that I'm providing in the weekly folders. Uh, I've, I've actually put the folders together with this project in mind. So they'll be looking at, at artifacts and trying to explain them in the videos and the articles that I'm giving you in the weekly folders. So feel free to, to plunder those. Um, so some of the things that you'll be addressing in the short papers are, um, you know, how does the artifact represent the values of the culture that produced it? What made it unique? Why did the culture create it? You know, what did this artifact mean to the people of this culture? What perspectives, ideas, and methods have come from an earlier culture and what have been carried forward in history? So, so you, you can start to think about almost like the genealogy of the artifact. It'll be in MLA or APA format, I don't care which, uh, with a complete header. Again, there are examples in this in this thematic project folder. Please check them out. Um, one thing that I've I've noticed in the past is make sure that you're keeping in mind that you want to use college level sources. You want to cite them correctly. You want to identify your source, even if you're using the SARE textbook. And these things need to be in quotation marks if you're quoting them. Video sources need to be um, correctly identified. And please, please, please be careful that um, you are looking at, for, particularly when you get out into YouTube, that you make sure that it's coming from a credible source. Smarthistory.org is a wonderful resource. A lot of what they do uh, on Smart History is exactly the kind of analysis that I want you to be trying to put together for this paper. So please feel free to use them. Also, besthistorysites.net has a lot of high quality uh, art history sources. Okay, 
So we're doing those two short papers. You will also be doing a presentation, which is essentially an artifact explanation that you share in discussion board as a PowerPoint. So I'll have lots of images um, and give you a chance to share something that you're interested in with the class. It's um, something that you get to pick which week you want to present. So during week one and week two, you'll sign up to present um, using a forum and discussion board. You can determine your theme later, so you don't have to right now figure out your theme. You can just pick a topic. Like if you're interested in the Greeks, sign up for that week. If you're interested in the Romans, everybody is, sign up for that week. So get in there um, right away and sign up because we'll have limited spots available. So the presentation is the one item which is loaded in two places. So you will load it in the thematic project area like you will your artifact analysis, but you'll also load it in discussion board to, to share with your classmates. Because it is part of, you know, I don't know, part of the material that we're looking at as a class each week, this is the one part of the thematic project which is due on a Wednesday instead of the usual Sunday, because I want everybody to have a chance to view it, to comment on it, make it part of the discussion of the week. And here are the, the basic presentation requirements. Again, there are examples in the folder. One thing I do want to point out is that there'll be a lot more text than a typical PowerPoint, unless you want to do a voiceover PowerPoint or a video lecture of your PowerPoint. So make sure there's at least one page worth of text total on your, um, on your slides, unless you are doing a, a lecture. So when we get to the end of the class, finals week, this is your final exam for the class, you'll be writing a three to four page paper and you'll be picking a contemporary artifact that was created in the last 50 years and explain how, it, how it's related to artifacts we've studied this semester on the same theme. So that's that uh, Beyonce PowerPoint that I showed you at the beginning of this lecture. And again, we're thinking of it as like exploring the family tree or the genealogy of an idea because we didn't come from nowhere. We, we've come from you know, all this history, which has led to where we are now. And that's, I mean, that's the part that I find so exciting about this class. So that final exam can be either an essay or a PowerPoint. Just if you do the PowerPoint, make sure that it has the equivalent of three to four pages of text throughout it. When we get there, you will be right exploring one theme, you need to use material from a variety of centuries. You need to refer to at least two different cultures from our textbook. You need to refer to at least three different genres of artifact, right? So they can't just all be paintings. Um, and it needs to have a works cited or a reference page. Source use. I have included in this folder a scholarly sources checklist. So check that out if, if you're unfamiliar with the kind of level of credentials that people need to have in order to be acceptable for this class. I'm a little more flexible with images. You know, um, for instance, uh, wikiart.org has a lot of, lot of great images. And even though it's a wiki, you know, these, these are famous pieces that we're looking at. So, so I'm, I'm more lenient with the way that you source the images, but the text definitely shouldn't be something from somebody's blog or um, somebody or a travel site, somebody who has no credentials. So if you, if you look at a site and you can't tell <clears throat> who has produced the content, be very, very careful. That's something that students have, have struggled with a little bit in the class. I'm going to come back to our folder. So here we are again in the thematic project area. Please go through at your own pace that assignment sheet that I just walked you through. Here is our calendar. What we have coming up right now is in this week one and week two, you're signing up for which week you want to present in. And then it walks you through when things are due. So we have quite a bit of time before we get to that first paper, that artifact explanation number one, that's due at the end of February. And then the second artifact 
explanation paper is due at the beginning of April. Then we have the final analysis during finals week. So take your time, take your time, go through the materials. I have put a lot of information in here. Some are examples that I've created for you. Some are student examples on a variety of themes. We have family, we have power, we have the life cycle, we have one on the individual and culture. So please look through it, take your time, it will soak in. And if you have any questions, please contact me. You can come to office hours, right, which is over here, office hours and collaborate. Also in faculty information is where you can email me and we can set up a time for a phone meeting. So I find that often in a five, 10 minute phone conversation, I can I can clarify any questions you have. <laughs> that, that sounds really, that sounds bold, but, but please feel free to reach out to me. I am here to make this semester work for you. And I am so excited to see what you come up with.